What's going on dudes? My name is Asterix and welcome to another redstone tutorial and today I'm going to show you a combination lock that is mostly used in adventure maps. Oh sorry about that, that was a previous redstone tutorial. But this is what, this is how it works. I basically know the answer if you consider this as A, B, C, D and E. My combination is B, C, oh uh, sorry B, D and E. So this is going to open the door. But other combinations are not gonna allow like for example other combinations like this a c and e or a s or b c and e or b a b uh, d and e it's not gonna work so basically i'm gonna show you how it works this is how it works uh i mean this is how it works this is a basic tutorial uh sorry about that uh so this is how the redstone works and the basic uh, thing that you need to know is how to use the repeaters, how to use the torches and how to use torches to alter the signal. I mean like this and that. You should know how to alter the signal. So let's make our basic one over here. Um, put up a door there. And just make a neat little you know, good looking section right there. Basically, almost all the uh, all the adventure maps use this, like pay mostly all of them. So here is six, which we don't need. We need a total of five. Yep. Or you can make any number any number that you want, and you can make hundreds of these. But depends, like you know, how much you want to make them, how much you want to use them. So let's decide. Um, I'm gonna take this, this, and this or let's use this all done in once i know it is quite easy but you know what it, it'll be useful someday so it's this this and that um so the ones that are not going to be working you're going to put oh first thing first is it up yep it is up so you know you're going to put torches on the levers that are the wrong wrong answers and you're going to put a redstone repeaters on the ones that are the correct combination so you put that there put one there and put one there so there you go and then you are gonna put two layers of any any block that you want any any uh block that you want you making this door out of or this little platform out of so basically you're gonna make it too high but too wide uh too length whatever too length yeah see so it's too high so it's one above the redstone repeater and two length in front of each the repeaters and the torches so you're gonna put torches in front of the um in front of these repeaters so there you go one two oh crap there you go um the repeaters should work i guess Okay, so the repeater should work. Yep, it should work. And then you're gonna put redstone here. Okay, so now you must be thinking, what are we gonna, what are we gonna do of these two redstone? So mainly, you put one block above the redstone torch, and then you put two torches right here. See, there you go. This is not gonna open the door. If you go to see, this is not gonna open the door. So now, what do you? mainly you need to do is you need to put a torch right here as you can see this is gonna switch off like you know it's not gonna work but mainly i want to show you guys that if there's torches right in front of you and if you put two torches over here it's still gonna work so even if you switch the, if you switch this on off this is still gonna be oh sorry about that it's gonna be on so it's pretty useless and it's not gonna work at all so for that if you want to make an alternate uh redstone uh, what do you call it? Whatever you want to call it, redstone repeater, what do you want to call it? You basically put a block right above the redstone and you put that. So if you change that, it's gonna alter. Oh, sorry. So once you're done with that, once you make this little thing, a uh, little platform, you have to put redstone, redstone in front of each and every torch, and then you put a torch right over there. 
So after you've done with this, put one, two, and three right below the storage. So now let's go and check. So you don't know the answer for this. It's A, C, and E. I guess. No, no, no. I was wrong. Was it? Okay, something's definitely wrong. Ah, there you go. See? Sorry, I did, I did the other way around. So these are up. It's A, C, and E. And that's how it's going to open the door. And you can go through it. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, basically, hope you enjoyed, like, really enjoyed the video. And you can manipulate this redstone work in as many numbers of levers as, as you want. You can even put six, like, for example, let us try. Let's put 10. Um, that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now let's make alternate ones. So you need, you need to put that there. Okay, and then you put torch right below these. Are these all, all facing up? Yes, it is. Oh, yes, they are. So put up a redstone repeater right there. Oh yeah, one thing about the redstone repeaters are that these two arrows from the from the signal they should go towards the output from the input these arrows should point towards the output that's the main thing that you need to keep in mind otherwise it's not going to work at all it is definitely not going to work at all so please do keep that in mind and let's try to do for 10 so you need to put torches right here and torches right there there you go uh, let's try if it works so it's gonna be alternate ones so it's a c e g i oh i there you go it does open the door and yeah you you can allow your friends to post and if you're creating an adventure map for anyone for any friends or anything but if you try any other combination it's definitely not gonna work so oh there you go Voila! It's an amazing work. It's a really interesting redstone work. Um, I was trying for quite a bit. And yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then a like rating would surely be appreciated. And if you want any more tutorials, and you want any more redstone tutorials, then make sure to comment below. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.